So we're joined on Fanta Tracks today by Tom Spina. You will know Tom from his work, well, loads of work here, there and everywhere, but predominantly what we're going to talk about today is Regal Robot, because you're coming to celebration, free plug on the T-shirt. Tom, tell us everything you know. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. It's so great to see you, man. It's been too long. I'm, I'm so looking forward to hanging out with the Fanta gang at Star Wars Celebration. We always have such a good time. And we do. It has been too, too long. This this celebration is a long time coming, isn't it? It really is. It, it's, yeah, we feel like we've earned this one. Even though it's only yes. three years yeah, since yeah. the last one, it feels like six. It doesn't feel like three. It's Yeah, yeah. Time has no meaning anymore. No. Okay? Like, it's just all out the window. It could have been a day. It could have been three years. It could have yep. been ten years. We have no way to know. We've become uh, Doctor yeah. Who. Yes, that's right. That's right. I'll tell you what, with all the stuff we bring into the show, I could really use a TARDIS that's bigger on the inside oh, right yeah. about now because, man, do we have a lot that we have to get into that booth. Star Wars collectors always feel like that. You especially must, having seen, having seen the, the, what you've got at the unit and, and you know all the stuff yeah. of what you're bringing to Celebration. Well, let's, let's kick off. Let's talk about Celebration. You've got some amazing sure. stuff. You've just made some announcements. So let's have a little look at what you've got. You, you guys are perfectly timed. So, uh, you know, by the time someone's watching this, we will have just done the last reveal of our, quote, reveal week. Ooh, uh, which okay. Every day we, we showed a new thing that we were going to be uh, having a celebration. So, yeah, let's run through them. So, uh, first thing we announced was the Max Rebo Concept Maquette Signature Edition. Yes. They, oh, thank you. Chef's kiss. I, so, we've got this new archive collection. The whole thrust of that is to just kind of build upon the work we've been doing, making replicas that are super authentic and all relate back to the original thing directly. You know, whether that comes out of the same mold or it's digitally scanned or, you know, some form of what they call lineage on this yeah. stuff. And that's what we're all about. I'm a, I'm a movie props collector myself, as well as a vintage toy collector and all kinds of other fun junk. But, you know, the, to me, the cool thing about movie collecting is getting those original props is getting things that have lineage back to the original props it yeah. makes them that much more special and just connected to that movie that we're spending our life trying to connect to you know Absolutely, it really yeah. is just that simple um and so this archive collection that's the whole point is we're we're building on stuff that we've done before like cz3 where it was scanned yeah. off the real one the tauntaun uh maquette which was right out of Phil's original mold. Yeah. The Gamorrean maquette, which came out of Tony McVeigh's mold. The Rancor that we did scanned off the original. All of this stuff was the archive collection. We just didn't have a name for it yet, yeah. you know? Yeah, so yeah. now we've been spending a lot of time with the original props. We've gone and seen a ton of these. We've scanned a ton of material. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot. Um, we've been working really hard for, for a long time on this and, and Lucasfilm had us hold a, a, a lot of stuff back so that uh, Star Wars Celebration could be everybody's first look at it and make something yes. really special out of it. So, you know, the first thing we've announced and shown pictures of now is the Max Rebo concept maquette. At the show, we're going to have a signature edition. So Phil Tippett, who sculpted it for the movie, uh, is going to, uh, has already signed all the plaques for him. Uh, we made 83 pieces for that edition. So you're yeah, talking nice. about, you know, a little over 20 pieces a day for the show. It's not a lot, but um, it's going to be a really sought after thing. It seems like we're getting a lot of good feedback and I'm, I'm just excited to unleash this stuff. The cool oh, yeah. thing is because we did that as a signature edition for the show, we do have the chance to do a numbered edition later. So right. if you're not able to get to the show, we didn't forget about you. We Everybody needs to get Max Rebo and his, his little blue backside. Uh, so, <laughs> which I'm, I'm amazed at that. Like, we did the thing and we're like, oh, yeah, he's got a really cool butt. And we're like, we didn't think much of it. But since showing the pictures online, it's all anybody talks about is how cool his backside is. I say, I, I noticed that you had a great little interview with Christian on StarWars.com yeah, and, yeah. and, and the butt crack I mentioned. But my thought is, is it a butt crack or is it an armpit? <laughs> That's a great question. Yeah. It's a single, yeah, it's a single armpit where it's two arms. Maybe. I don't know. It's, I, I just <laughs> love that, you know, for all the times this character has been done, either as a figure, a Funko Pop, or a, a yeah. toy, or anything, or plush, this is the first time we're getting not only a one to one replica of Phil's amazing concept sculpt, but the first time we're really getting what that 
alien's anatomy is yeah. and getting it right. You know, he's got two limbs and that's it. They're, are they legs? Are they arms? Are they larms? Like, we don't know. <laughs> you know? But, like, that's, that's a cool thing to be able yeah. to say, like, yeah, we did that. We're the first ones that got to put that out. You are, um, definitely. But, yeah, so if fans don't get to the show, we will have on June 7th, it goes live, the numbered edition, uh, and there'll be 250 pieces in that, like we do with all of our other maquettes. And uh, that will be a good chance for folks who maybe didn't get to the show to pick one of these up. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you got to the show, but they were sold out or something like that. Um, so that was the first one. Uh, we're gluttons for punishment, though. And we <laughs> thought, why don't we have four exclusives this year? You know, Why not? So uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> I'm going to, let's see, I'll work my way kind of back. So we had okay. four exclusives and then a furniture piece we announced. Right. All new at the same time. Why not? Uh, and then at the show, we're also going to be revealing a couple of prop replicas that are new, a one-to-one -one bust that is new, wow. several more archive collection maquettes that are brand new, uh, a new wall decor sculpture piece, and a new magnet. And wow. the wall decor and magnet are so cool. I can't wait till people see this. Anyway, so, okay, I gotta... <sighs> Deep breath. Let's see. Uh, let's go magnet set. Okay. So we have at the show... Uh, our, so I'm, I'm like the cantina guy, right? Like that's yeah. always, everybody comes to me with the cantina questions. I did all those panels. I love the behind the scenes of that scene. I love the making of that scene. I love all the monsters and I've, I've sculpted most of them over the years, either myself yes. or with the team here. So Walrus Man famously has two different types of arms. Yes. Um, and of course, you know that because you're, you are a true Fanta, but you know, I, I, what I love about Star Wars is like you can dig into stuff like that. You know, there's yeah. a lot of fandoms where you couldn't do a product based on Walrus Man's alternate hoof hand, right? <laughs> but with Star Wars fans, like they get it, they obsess over the same yeah. stuff. And so we have a magnet set. We've been doing this uh, this collection called the Separation Collection, and that includes like the Wampa's chopped off arm, Luke Skywalker's chopped off hand uh c-3po's arm when it gets knocked off by the tuscan raiders yeah and there are two more in that series and the next one up is an exclusive for celebration it is walrus man's arm holding the gun with the wolfman looking hand yeah and his big hoof hand as the second magnet it's a two-pack it'll be available at the show we'll have about 50 of them each day that's so clever uh, for uh, for Max Rebo, the signature tradition is an in-person exclusive. That was something Lucasfilm requested. Okay. Uh, for the next three exclusives I'm talking about, you'll actually be able to get them on the website during the show. Right. So if you're not at the show, you got to go to regalrobot.com slash Star Wars during the four days of the show, and you can pick these up there. So we're at least giving fans another chance to get a hold of these. Um, so if you love Walrus Man's both arms and you say, I need them on my fridge holding my child's artwork up, uh, that, this is the way you do it. Um, the next one, let's see here. Uh, oh, okay. This is an easy one. Uh, so we do our series of wood art plaques, um, you know, and, and for those, we have a lot of them in the works, but we, we love things like the Wampa warning sign. Yeah. We love the Vader and Flames patch from the making of uh, The Empire Strikes Back. There you there go. It is. There you go. Oh, there's your, that's one of those. That is my chef's kiss. There you are, sir. Oh, <laughs> I, that is amazing and perfectly placed, too. It's yes, it's just about half the camera. Robert Watts' jacket to figure out how to place that, you know? <laughs> So, um, so we thought, why not continue the behind the scenesness? And we're doing a Blue Harvest Horror Beyond Imagination plaque Beautiful. about Lovely. this wide. Uh, oh, hold on! Don't move. Don't tell Tom I'm drinking. I'll be right back. This episode brought to you by Grolsch. I forgot this is video too. I can it is. Show it. <laughs> oh, look at that. So there you are. Beautiful. Um, and it's it's cool art. It's got a little distressing on it too. So it's not just, you know, like a, a just a plain old stickery thing. I got to figure out how do I get my head in here now. Um, <laughs> and, uh, Chad. and so that's, 
the Saltwood, made in the USA. They're going to be 20 bucks at the show. Oh, wow. It's a great takeaway item, really easy to fit in your suitcase. And to me, it just pays tribute, again, to that behind-the-scenes stuff, that really, you know, looking through the uh, all the different magazines and stuff and seeing – come on in, thanks – uh, hold on, I'm just getting samples of the next things to show you. Uh, thank you very much. Beautiful. Uh, these are the Oh, look at that. Arms. So, uh, you know, and, Brilliant. and this is, you got the, the sort of, we've been calling this one, sorry, I got to get it on screen. We were calling this the spoon. Yes. Because it kind of kind of looks that way, but this is, you know, that, that hoof hand, a little bit of hair on the back of it. Like, yeah. we get into the nitty gritty. Uh, spoon de barber. Have, yeah, he's got to have the, little, uh, the yeah. little stripes on the back and a little little cutoff section. So, and then of course this is the more standard, the Wolfman arm you see in the in the final with the blaster and all of yeah. that. So we're just we're kids having fun. Yeah, like this is uh, this this is by f I mean look, it's a dream job to start with. You're buzzing. Yeah. I can I can totally I know you well and I can feel the energy. <laughs> so clearly you're having a ball this is great yeah we we are having so much fun with this and that's i think that's a nice segue into the next one because right. so this this next one is technically it's called a desk accessory it's it's a weighs about a pound it's it'd be great paperwork uh, paperweight it'd be a yeah. great thing to just put on your desk and stare at you and remind you of what's important in life mm -hmm. and um <laughs> everyone knows the the classic you know uh see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, right? Yeah. Three wise monkeys, as they say. Yes. Well, we were making our life-sized uh, salacious crumb replica. And I'm like, Kawakian monkey lizard, Kawakian monkey lizard, wise monkey lizards. And I was just like, oh, I think I know what we have to make next. Penny so, drop, yeah. Yeah, you know, it was like, so this is... <laughs> This is the the Kowakian monkey lizards, the three wise monkey lizards. This is actually uh, one of our samples from the shop because we we made as many as we could and shipped them to the show already. Brilliant. Um, but you know, because everybody's concerned about the backsides of things, there you go. We've got <laughs> the, the little tails, their little ribs showing through, the fluff yeah. on their heads and around their necks, and just. I, I just think this is like one that of the awesome. fun things. That is awesome. That's do. clever. I, Thank you. Thank you. I hope folks like it. Every one of those was made in the USA, actually made right in this studio, hand cast, hand assembled, hand painted. Uh, every one of them gets a bronze look with a patina and, and yeah. clear coat over top. And it's just, um, they put so much work into the last few months, making magnets, making the, the monkey lizards, making the uh, uh, Max Rebos, um, it's been absolutely crazy. And then yeah. prepping all of like our prototypes and stuff that we're going to show for the stuff that's coming Yes, and, and still staying on top of orders. You know? <laughs> so uh, it's, it's been absolutely bananas over here, but we're, we're just, you know, living the dream. It's exactly the, the stuff we're getting to do is so fun and interesting. And we're not, uh, I, I hope folks can appreciate that we're not going down the same path, you yeah. know, uh, the, you're, if you're coming to Regal Robot, you're getting something unique. You're getting yes. stuff from people that really love this this saga. Oh, and that shines through. That always shines thank through. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, that means so much to me because that's, uh, like you said, we've known each other a long time now. Yeah. And that passion for behind the scenes existed decades before Regal Robot was even an yes. idea. Yeah. And to me, that's the coolest part about what we're doing is we get to share with all the other people that are passionate about the same stuff. Um, yeah. And Star Wars has such a good fan base for the making of people. How many people got into the, the effects industry or the film industry or the TV industry just because Star yeah. Wars and George Lucas inspired them, just because they saw the making of uh, The Empire Strikes Back or the making yeah. of Star Wars and thought, I want to do stop motion, or I want to do visual effects, or I want to do computer effects, or you know whatever. Absolutely. Um, you know, and and now, you know, we get we get to geek out together, and <laughs> we get to make cool stuff that can you know go sit on the desks of people that are now making the movies that are going to inspire the next generation, which is yeah. a really cool thing. Very cool. They're they're amazing pieces. I gotta say, Thank all you. of them, because like you say, everything because it's behind the scenes. Everything's got a story. So. Blue Harvest might not mean anything to anybody outside of Star Wars, but if you're a Star Wars fan, Blue Harvest means everything, doesn't it? 
right? The magnets is genius. So thank you. Thank brilliant. You. Yeah. Well, and, and we're really trying on that stuff. You know, the other one we just I just didn't even think about is the furniture piece. So yes. this one will have that celebration, although it's not necessarily an exclusive or anything, but this is literally just shown for the first time on our website this morning. Uh was our new cantina themed seating that you know these are chairs that you can have in your living room or your office or wherever uh that are essentially copies of the chairs from the cantina yeah the main differences are uh the fabric is nicer the wood on the sides is nicer and they're way more comfortable than the prop chairs probably ever were <laughs> yes 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 um but yeah we so those are now being made in the USA. We actually have a few of them in stock already. They are being made by the same fabrication folks that are doing our Emperor Throne chairs that we wow. do. Uh, so Which are beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And it, it allows us to get these things out. You know, we've done a few of these as custom things for movie sets and for uh, even for a few people's homes. Yeah. And they always come up relatively high in cost when you're approaching that way. So doing them this way, we've gotten them down to fourteen ninety nine a chair. That's wow. one thousand four hundred ninety nine a chair. Yeah. Which look, you could go get a chair that isn't Star Wars and pay more than that. So yeah. <laughs> but who would want that? Why, if you can have Star Wars chairs, why not have Star Wars chairs? This is what I'm saying. We got to get you on the website with that. I want to <laughs> put that as a banner across the top. Of the, <laughs> if you can have Star Wars chairs, why wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Mark said so. Yeah. There you go. Must be must be true. So you you're really uh covering all corners there because like I say, you've got magnets, you've got the wall mounts, you've got furniture, yeah. you've got now the archive yeah. collection. Now so, the collectibles, yeah. Yeah, I know yeah. because obviously we delineate everything we post on the site and keep records of what we post and such. And we've noticed the folders are very it's it's <laughs> very organized. You've you've br almost like brands within Regal Robot. That's, that must be a yeah. nice place to get to now when you're just adding to that. Yeah, it is. You know, we're, we try not to discontinue stuff unless we really have to. You yeah. know, sometimes we have things that are limited editions and things like that. And OK, fine. You got to get those early. But, you know, we've got things like our, our uh, Mythosaur skulls and yes. stuff that we make and some of the early magnets we did and things like that. And some of the other wall decor pieces like the big Mythosaur wall decor yeah. that people still buy on a regular basis. And it's like, yeah. you know, a lot of companies will do a product they'll make one big order of it they'll get ten thousand pieces or something like that and then it goes away because they're not going to be able to order another ten thousand pieces and that's the only way to get the price where they need yeah with us we're making the stuff in the usa we're making it all by hand a lot of times it's stuff that's either made to order or made in very small batches yeah um you know things like our, our tauntaun life-sized busts you know we'll do those maybe five or six at a time yeah um this is not 10, 10 at a time, not 20 at a time, not thousands at a time, like six. Uh, even things like the Emperor Thrones, you know, we'll do those about a half dozen at a time now. And it allows us to keep this stuff out there for folks so yeah. that it's not what's Regal Robot doing this year. It's, you know, Regal Robot has a pretty deep catalog now. And, and the way we really discovered that was when Christine and, and Katie and Ross had to try and pack all of that into crates to get it to celebration. They're like, we make too many things. We got to discontinue stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How's all the prep going? We're not that far out now, so you, you no, mean? No, we're not. Yeah. We're not. We're almost. Yeah, we're almost time to drive to the airport, right? Um, it's going good. We got all of our crates out of the shop. All the merchandise packed up. All the Max Rebo's made just by the skin of yeah. his, the blue skin of his teeth. <laughs> um, the uh, all the magnets made. Everything is. You know, right now it's it's in the hands of the truckers and we hope they, they make it there safely. Yes. Um, and then, yeah, that's we're about a week and a half, I think, from flying out there and starting to set up the booth and, and just get ready to see everybody. It's it's exciting times. It is. It really is. I say we said before we start recording that it, it, it just feels it. Now it's nearly here. It's rushing up on us, but it feels like it's just taking yeah. so long to get here. Yeah. That everyone's yeah. thirsty for this. So thirsty for this. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but you're so right. The last couple of weeks, it's just, it went from like slow, slow, slow to, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> like, we gotta go. <laughs> but yeah, like by the time this airs, we're going to be, you know, three or four days away from yeah. getting on a plane and getting out of here, which is crazy to me. It feels oh, no. like we've been working at this so long uh, for it now to finally be that time. Like I'm sitting back, like, 
ah, finally. Exile. You know, we, can, yeah. we can show people what we've been doing and, and we can uh, finally not have to be super careful about what we say or if someone comes through, we have to make sure they don't see things. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's really cool. I can't wait for folks to come through the booth. I, you know, I'm dying to show them the rest of the archive collection in the works. I'm dying to see how they react to the monkey lizards and the magnets and all the fun stuff we're going to be selling. And, and, um, you know, yeah, just, I'm just looking forward to seeing everybody. There's so yeah. many folks that I only ever see at the show. You know how that is. Oh yeah, totally. And it's, you need it. You know, there's, there's so many friends that I've made through this hobby and through this business now that, um, that it's just that's that's where we connect that's where we we get to hang out you know the show yeah. closes up and everybody makes their way to a particular hotel restaurant or whatever yeah or finds a couple of chairs in a lobby and you just you know nerd out man it's, it's <laughs> i'm looking so forward to it well we're going to cover the heck out of it on Fanta tracks as we always try to do and share it everywhere we can and then as Thanks. soon as we get there I'm on the podcast yeah. stage and some of the Fanthas are helping out. We're going to be all over covering everything. We'll make sure we come over and Absolutely. Uh, that long we'll away catch grand up. grand booth tour, as it were. Yeah. Perfect. We'll show you all the stuff we don't even show the normal people. Oh, the normal people. That's good. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, there are no normal people in Star no, Wars. No, not in Star Wars, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Certainly Tom, not, us. not definitely not us. Thanks so much for your time. It's been brilliant showing us all this stuff. Thank it's you. wonderful. Always good to speak uh, to you. Thank you. You too. I, I look forward to seeing everybody at the show. Be well. Man.